In this episode of Vivian Tries, there is adult language. If you're easily offended, please turn the video off now. Hello, you guys, and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. Number one, I want to know who buys this toy. Now, it can be used for pranks and all kinds of stuff, but I want to know how many of you have purchased something like this because this is nasty. <laughs> I need to know who thought of this and who thought that's a good idea for a toy. It says here, looks like the real thing. Let's see what this is. What? <laughs> Look at the mold. Look at the mold. <laughs> Look at the mold. Could you imagine working at the factory where they're making this mold and going, what? <laughs> no. <laughs> here you might see two additional little pieces. When you open it, it tells you what those are. That's a corn <laughs> and that's a peanut. <laughs> you nasty son of a bitch who made this. <laughs> so it's a complete mold with peanuts and corn. <laughs> I guess for a prank, but for like just for your kids to play with. What, what are you doing? <laughs> what? Oh, it's like green. <laughs> I'm trying to get through this as fast as I can. If your stuff has a shade of green like this, get that shit checked out. Cause that is not normal. <laughs> now I'm just curious. Squeeze these two together. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at my masterpiece. <laughs> it works. It's, it doesn't, oh my God. Did I just put that up to my face? Why do I smell everything? <laughs> it's not, yeah, it's not bad. The smell smells like just normal Play-Doh. I, I mean, it's pretty realistic looking. <laughs> I can't even describe it. Like I'm so over this one. I'm gonna give it to my sister. She loves to prank her kids. <laughs> Too much. So I'm gonna give this Play-Doh do four Vivian heads. Number two, go girl. Let me tell you what it's for. Go Girl allows women the convenience of standing to urinate. It's clean, portable, discreet, and reusable. I don't think so. I appreciate the idea. It might be genius in an emergency situation, but what am I supposed to do with this thing after I pee through it? Put it in my pocket? No, ma'am. Put it in my purse? No, ma'am. So, no. I just pee like that. Like girls pee now. I don't understand, but maybe I'll get it after I open this thing and see it and touch it and feel it and go, okay, maybe. It's recommended for use during camping, boating, travel, festivals, and sports. Nope, still not convinced. Oh, this one is a beautiful pink, purple, lavender color. Only time I think I would use this is if I was in a nasty bathroom and I was not gonna touch or sit on anything. Then I would take this out. After I used it, I would walk over to the sink, rinse it, wash it out with soap, then put it under their hand blower, let it dry, and then I'd put it in my purse in my pocket. Otherwise, it's going in the trash after I use it. I'm sure the people that came up with this are like geniuses, but I'm just saying, day-to-day -day stuff, camping, no. Festival? Hell no. I mean, those bathrooms are nasty. I'm not gonna roll this little thing back up like this and put it in my pocket. You're nuts. I'm just being 100% honest. I'm not doing all that. I don't know why there's a bag in here. It just seems like this is a lot of work. What? <laughs> okay, hold on a second. Let me... <laughs> Let me see. No. 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 <laughs> they even give you toilet paper? Who buys this? They probably tell you to put it in this baggie and then take it home and clean it. This is too much work. It goes on like this. You do not put it up like this. That's wrong. If I'm in the woods trying to... <laughs> I was gonna say, if I'm in the woods trying to strap this on, <laughs> what are people gonna think? No, they're not gonna, oh, she's gonna go pee standing up. They're gonna go, this freakazoid is doing some shit in the woods that we don't want to know about. We knew she was a freakazoid, but why is she strapping on some lavender stuff? So if you have to go bathroom, number one only, then you put this 
up on your chitch and then you pee standing up so you don't have to squat or you don't have to sit on nothing nasty. Like I'm gonna have to carry this in a baggie and then I'm gonna have to take this nasty ass wet pissed on silicone with me and then I gotta wrap it up. Where am I gonna put this? In my pocket? It doesn't fit. It feels nice. It looks like it's made of really nice material. Do not flush. Got it. You can't, don't try to flush this. That's just common sense. You're supposed to roll it back up the way it was, right? Roll it back in this baggie. No, guys, this is way TMI. <laughs> but have you seen those period cups? I think it's called a diva cup. No, like in your head is like, oh, that's a great idea. But in real life, that shit don't, no, that's too much work. Let me demonstrate, not on me, because now you're perverted. On their website, it says you can just put it on like this and just go to town. I thought that you had to like take off all your clothes, then use it. But no, they're saying, like a dude, like a straight up dude, what if you don't place it in the right place and then you're gonna have a real accident? So you guys can see it on camera, ready? And then you're gonna, let's try this again. Make sense? <laughs> I'm happy peeing like a girl. If you're camping and your best friend pulls out one of these, you're gonna be like, you do too much, girl. Just go over there and squat, you're good. <laughs> This is serious business. This is a medical silicone. Have you used one of these before? Do you love it? If you do, please, by all means, in the comments down below, let me know. So those are my thoughts. Number three. It's coming up on the expiration date. So I thought, hey, it's about to expire anyway. I might as well try it with my folks. Let them know if you keep this until the expiration date, is it still gonna be as good as it was when you first bought it. Like it's cool if you buy something and taste it and you're like, oh, that's delicious, but it was made like a month ago. I've had it about three years. We all need to be ready. Doomsday. Is in those packages like those military, what are those called? E emergency meal, ready? Ready to eat meals, meals, ready to eat? I don't remember. E e I don't know. This is probably that same military food, huh? This is a barbecue sandwich. You see it right there in the picture. I brought myself up a little plate. Listen, it might be doomsday, but she still can keep it classy. That picture was impressive, don't you think? I was impressed, I'm like, damn. If at the end of the world I can get a sandwich like that, I might not be hating my life, you know? <laughs> I don't think it's gonna look like that. I think it's gonna be smushed. Now you can eat it straight out of the package, but there are some options here on the packaging. You can boil it in water for six minutes, in the pouch. You can stick it in the microwave for 20 to 30 seconds, or you can toast it in the oven. Well, on doomsday, we're not gonna have none of that. So, we're just gonna taste it like this, because that's that's really what's gonna happen. I'm ready for my doomsday meal. In a previous video that I did a years ago, I tasted the spaghetti and meatballs, and it was divine. I'm telling you, you're probably thinking, yeah, right, Vivian, but it was, considering it came out of a pouch. It was divine. Ready? One, two, three, go. Ooh, it does look like in the pattern. It's just smushed. If this is the kind of meal we're gonna have, we might make it. Look at it. What? It smells like a beef Pop-Tart. <laughs> and it looks like a beef Pop-Tart. Oh, you don't eat that part. You throw that away. That's just like one of those little dry packs, right? It says, do not eat. You see? Do not eat, dum-dum. It looks like a freaking... <laughs> Beef Pop-Tart. That's what it looks like. It smells like an empanada. Hey, doomsday meals are not gonna be as bad as I thought. It is beef barbecue. Let's see. Look at that. Listen, this is not a steak dinner, but considering it's the end of the world and like there's nothing but bugs to eat. Somebody pulled out one of these when you come over to visit and they're like, listen, I don't got much, but I got one of these barbecue sandwiches. You want one? You're gonna be like, hell yeah. Shit, I'm eating bugs at my house. This is pretty good. Let's see, three years later after it was made. <laughs> Ready, one, two, three, go. Dude, that's actually good. I was gonna say delicious, but come on now. Let's keep it real. It's not delicious, but it's good. Listen, it's delicious. If you're considering everything, I'm not considering today's world. I'm going out, there's nothing outside, but like a scene out of one of those doomsday movies. 
in that scenario, this is delicious. It has the texture of a protein bar. So if you're in the market for doomsday meals, maybe some camping meals, I say go get some. They're pretty good. So I'm going to give our barbecue doomsday sandwich five Vivian heads. And it's pretty good considering it's about to expire. Number four. This is a six pack of poppers. How freaking cute are they? These. How freaking adorable are these things? I love them. I don't want to pop them now. Yeah, be careful. Don't point the shit at your face now. Hold the popper upright when used. Like this. Upright like this. Right? I don't know. Do not point at people, animals, or objects. I hope it's a lot of confetti. One, two, three, go. Oh my god. Uh, I can't. Fucker. <laughs> I didn't know. I did it the wrong way. No wonder I'm like upright. <laughs> did you know? Why didn't you tell me? It's sitting there staring at me do this. Can you speak up when you see me doing something wrong? No wonder I even questioned it. You saw me say upright. What do you mean by upright? Oh my God, I did it wrong. <laughs> Fucking idiot. And I haven't even drank for the new year. Well, let's do it again because I, I just shot myself in the throat. <laughs> so it's like this, duh, like a real champagne bottle. I think I tried something similar to this in another video and it came from the bottom, that's why. I'm just making excuses because I did it wrong. Hey, <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> Wow, be careful. <laughs> what do you guys think? I <laughs> It's like I'm nervous. So I'm gonna give the little champagne Fetty Poppers five Vivian heads. These were very cute, very violent. Can we reuse them? Probably not. Number five. This is an LED cake stand. It's for your friends that are super extra, like me. Vivian does the mostest. It's kind of small. And my cake at least needs to be that big. This is like a little baby cake. Ooh, it has three different flashing modes. To clean it off, you just wipe it down with a damp cloth. Do not put it in water. Don't put anything on top that's hot. This is plastic. Since in real life, I am an ordained minister, I thought in 2019, in order to stand out, I would include wedding cakes as part of my services when I officiate weddings. Don't you think that's a good idea? I'm gonna really stand out. And I'm only gonna do one cake per couple. I'm Puerto Rican, we don't do that his and hers cake shit. No, get out of here, it's too much. <laughs> the damn people don't even appreciate the one cake. I'm not gonna make them two. Me, like a crazy person last night, I was driving around to different Walmarts and Kroger's and I was asking the bakery technicians, hey bakery technician, I am performing a fake internet wedding in my video tomorrow. I need a cake that's on clearance. I don't wanna pay full price. Can you hook a girl up? They're like, no. I'm like, I'm a minister, motherfucker. Put some respect to my name. And then I walked away and I said, listen, I'm looking for a cake that's $3.99. If you can't provide, you're going to hell. Cause I'm a minister and I have that power. All the cakes were 20 bucks. I'm like, hell no. So I decided cupcakes it was. <laughs> So we're gonna do a cupcake cake. The problem is after I add all this up, it was more than just buying the fucking cake. I've seen this on Pinterest. People get cupcakes and then just put it around. Boom, they got a cake. And you know it's nice and fresh when that frosting don't even move when you touch it. <laughs> you know that's the good stuff. There's my cake. Wait, I need my little couple on top. Have you guys watched the Kim Kardashian and Kanye music video where they're riding that bike. That's what I thought my couple should look like on top of their cake. The groom comes out first. This is Kanye. Da -da <laughs> my bride's coming out. Her veil is her cape. This is Kim. She sits in the front like that. Have you seen that video? It's kind of stupid, but I'm doing a reenactment of that. Let's move the veil. Yeah. <laughs> now to turn up. Yeah, y'all. <laughs> the coolest thing ever. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the lights because you guys have to see this. Oh my god, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna push it again to see if there's a different design maybe. Yeah. <laughs> She's so extra. 
click it again oh this is for the slow dance <laughs> in the wedding <laughs> oh this would work great when you're trying to tell people go home you can be like when it's on this mode that means wrap it up get your fucking cupcake get the hell out <laughs> best thing i've tried so far today i'm gonna give the led cake tray stand five vivian heads number six so we are going to try this filter for doomsday it is a personal water filter this thing pretty much takes everything out of any nasty water if it's bug out day um and you need clean water boom everybody in the family should have one of these straws some people have even said that you can drink your own urine with this thing don't get crazy now no pumps no chemicals it will filter 1000 liters so i was thinking we can pretend this is dirty water do you think that i'm going to be able to taste the lime in this sparkling water do you think i'm going to be able to taste the diet dr pepper and the fresh squeezed orange juice through this filter we're about to find out regularly blow air through the live straw after drinking to keep the filter clean and prevent clogs that's what it looks like is this the right filter that people can drink their own urine when it's bug out day you gotta be willing to drink some urine with the straw are you willing to you're not gonna be part of my crew okay so i stood it in water for 10 seconds like they say in the instructions now i'm gonna close off the bottom i'm not as impressed as i thought i was going to be with the quality of it i guess in an emergency situation you really don't care as long as it works i just thought for the price and for what it was it was going to be like fancier or i don't know it's kind of plasticky i have two additional cups here now i'm not doing urine because i'm not cray cray i will do some apple cider vinegar which tastes like ass so fresh squeezed orange juice diet dr pepper sparkling water with lime apple cider vinegar, cranberry juice. It took the carbonation out, but I can still taste the orange flavor in there. So it's like filtering the carbonation out. It is so weird that it's taking the carbonation out. Okay, now this disgusting vinegar. No, 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 it tastes like shit. Actually, it doesn't taste that bad, but it's bad. And I know what you're thinking. Vivian, that filter is to clean out any bacteria or micro critters that are in the water. I know, but I wanted to taste it with these things so I could see what it tastes like. I'm not gonna really put it in contaminated water and test it for you. So I have to test it like this. Go ahead, that tastes like ass. Cranberry juice and vinegar. I was expecting it to clean it like that zero filter i kind of had that in mind this is going to filter contaminated water not so much the taste of it so it's still going to taste like ass but at least you're alive thank goodness i did not try urine with this thing because i was going to taste urine do you guys remember that movie life remember those people on the airplane landed in like swiss alps i don't know where the hell they were it was cold they were slicing nargas and eating them i'm gonna freeze to death fuck it i'm not eating anybody else and i'm not drinking my own urine so i'm gonna give the live straw four vivian heads number seven incredible candle every time i see this thing at walmart you know what it reminds me of at the club where people are coming out with like the champagne bottles that are like shh for like birthday parties this is like the cheap <laughs> this is the cheap friend version you can't afford to take them to the club and get the champagne sparkler things so you gotta buy them this and then come out and be like shh so i have a cupcake here so we can try oh it's too big for the cupcake <laughs> See, and then you have a cheap ass friend who's gonna try to bring you a cupcake instead of a whole fucking cake. A flame will shoot from the center. See, that's the champagne effect. Like, shh, like on the Kardashians. The candle slowly lights the fort. There's 14 other candles in here. You're gonna light this first, then light that, and then your candle will bloom. Okay? I'm gonna say, don't be picky. You better be glad you got a fucking cupcake for your birthday. Oh no, it's gonna fall over. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Come on now. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. Okay, call your friend in. Come on, sing happy birthday. Shh, sing me happy birthday. 
Okay, not too much. Okay, too much. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not gonna touch it. I was gonna do like that, like at the parties, but I can't. Maybe I can. Oh my god, I love it! When does it stop? Do I have to really blow them out? Or is it gonna blow out by themselves? Okay, I made a wish. Ta-da! But how do you turn it off? It's cute, but how do you... <laughs> Tomorrow, just the party's over. Everybody left. <laughs> 20 minutes later, this thing's still fucking singing. I guess we just take it off the cupcake because it's just, it's just not gonna shut up. To stop the music, cut the copper cord with scissors. Now we have to operate. There it is. It's too much. <laughs> oh, too much. <laughs> you need to throw this shit away and then at night, Shit turns on, you're like, ah, oh, I cut it. And then in the middle of the night, that shit starts playing again. No, no, I just killed you and now you're coming back from the dead. You're like Freddy Krueger. Who knows who Freddy Krueger is? I'm done. Dead, watch well, it start going again, then it's possessed. So you're gonna get a song and candles for $5, that's pretty good. It's a pain in the ass to turn off though. So I'm gonna give the singing birthday candle from Walmart for Vivian Heads. It's, it's pretty cute, I would buy it again. Number eight, pink champagne gummy mix for like a party or like a bachelorette. Now I know it says pink champagne. I don't think that means it tastes, it might mean that. I was thinking that was just describing the color. <laughs> like a clear, like a little baby pink. It might taste like pink champagne, I don't know. But how adorable are these? And if you are lucky enough to find little molds that are in the shape of the champagne bottles, that's extra cute. And it's really gonna go with what you see here on the packaging. I couldn't find those molds anywhere. Walmart, if you're gonna give me the idea, like right next to it, you should hang all the shit I'm gonna need so I can just go, oh yeah, I need all this, this whole kit. They put shit all around the store and you gotta run around, then you come out with two carts. Because I could not find the little champagne bottled molds, I thought it would be cute to use this original Ice Genie miniature mold from the Wish app. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, you should go watch this video right here. It's gonna explain the whole thing to you. How cute if I made little miniature ice cubes, right? And then we filled up a wine or champagne. Probably champagne would be cuter, but this one was so big and open that I thought it would be cute if we filled it up with tiny little ice cubes that were champagne pink color. Do you think we can make a giant gummy mold in this? We're about to find out. Step one is going to be to spray your mold with a little bit of nonstick spray so that the gummies come right out of it. <laughs> Too much? <laughs> Probably, oh my God. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough mix for this big old guy. Ew, it doesn't smell very good. So whatever's left over, we'll see if it'll fit in that one. So here's my mix, and it says to add one third cup of water plus one tablespoon, which I already have mixed here for us because I'm motherfucking Martha Stewart, that's why. It was turning pink. I should have done that real slow like Martha Stewart, very, very gentle, but I'm excited. <gasps> Look, it turned pink. Okay, now we gotta go stick it in the microwave for I think 45 seconds. Oh, that's not gonna be enough for this. Oh, that's disappointing, but we're gonna get some cute ass ice cubes. Okay, now it smells like <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say like as, but not like as. I think I'm smelling a little bit of strawberry. <laughs> not strawberry either. Pink champagne. I can't get my flavors right. Oh yes, I smell it now. Nice. It's ready and it smells delicious. I feel like a candy maker. Well, I could probably just do like that, huh? I don't have to do it individually because sometimes when I see the candy makers make chocolate, they just go like that, right? They can be a professional candy maker. Now, it does say that if you have some left over, you can store it. Dun. I should have put this on a cookie sheet first because moving it like this, first of all, it's hot as hell. 
Oh no, I can move it. See? Okay, I'm gonna go put this in the fridge. My ice cubes are ready. We're gonna put them into this wine glass so you guys can see them. See, this is why the silicone comes in handy to pop shit out. <gasps> yes, come on, come on, come on. Look at them. <gasps> oh my God, they're so pretty. The only thing is it has that nonstick oil all over them. Should I rinse them off? <laughs> my guests are not gonna like that, I don't think. Look how cool those are gonna look. And a champagne glass for all of your guests. You only need five per friend, okay? They better not get greedy now. They're not paying for this party. But five little cubes in each drink, that's cute. You can get a lot of them out of there. Okay, so this one has been rinsed off. I'm gonna tell you if it tastes like pink champagne. Doubt it, but we're gonna try it. <gasps> that's delicious. And it has the best texture. It's like a really nice gummy. I'm gonna eat all of these for dinner. So I'm gonna give the pink champagne gummy mix five Vivian heads. They're delicious. Number nine, head net. The rest of your body doesn't need a net. Fuck it, let it get <laughs> eaten by mosquitoes. Just protect your head. <laughs> for our doomsday bag, I wasn't sure about this, so I thought we're gonna try it together because I'm not sure if this is gonna protect us from the mosquitoes when we have our episode airing of Naked and Afraid. What is this? What? I don't get it. So you can put it on without a hat or with a hat. What about my chest, my arms, my legs? I'm not wearing any pants right now. <laughs> My, my legs are not protected. Let's try it with a hat. This is the visor I'm putting in my doomsday bag, so it has to fit. Okay. Hey, it works better with the visor because it actually takes it out of my face, kind of. I feel like a bees, a bees keeper. Is that what this called? Like one of those bees keepers people? You see? I mean, I get that we're trying to protect ourselves from flying insects. Are we wearing just a lot of gear so the rest of the body is protected? Ah, that's probably what it is. Actually, the visor needs to come with it. So if you're going to buy this net, go buy this visor at the Japanese dollar store because look at it. <laughs> it's like I have a head tent. See? This is like the opening of the tent. Look, and I can see everything clearly. We were in the woods. If you don't have some kind of a hat to kind of spread it out, the net is kind of in your face. Like this, I would use it. And I understand, you're gonna have to gear up, like wear long sleeves and shit. And this is just strictly for your face so it doesn't get eaten by mosquitoes. Everybody in the family needs one of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and approve it to be added to our doomsday box. Without the visor, I don't think I would use it, but with the visor, it's a beautiful thing. And it was cheap, so yes. If you have a big old head, it doesn't have much stretch. So I don't know if they make these, <laughs> is this one size fits most? Probably, it's polyester. Yeah, so you might need two and then sew them together if you got a big old head. And if you have a baby head, this might fit your whole body. <laughs> you might just get your whole body in. So I'm gonna give the head net five Vivian heads. Number 10, stainless steel straws four of them with the cleaning brush and with little silicone tips on them these things are triple that price everywhere else triple and quadruple that price jeffree star i'm sorry about it how much is your stainless steel straw i absolutely love the little silicone tips on them because you're not gonna hit your teeth with the stainless steel straw i love it totally worth $2.49. Here's the little brush. So to clean, oh my God, I love them. You know what's also good about having these colorful tips is that you know which one is your cup. So you know, uh, don't you put your mouth on my straw. Mine's the green one. That way you are not sharing germs. Don't be drinking out of my damn straw. Everybody gets a color. And then to clean them, you just get your little brush and then Doop, doop. I love it. Green is my favorite color, so that's the one that I'm gonna pick. It's been washed. Okay, let's test it. Mm. 
go get you some for sure don't even think about it don't even think about it and they're not like in housewares you're not gonna find this like with the stuff in the cup section or even like where they sell plastic straws you know where i found this in the camping section so go to the camping section at walmart and ask for their four piece stainless steel straws for two dollars and 47 cents now that's how much they are today the day this video is airing in a year from now they might not be that price so check your local walmart but today june of 2019 they're two dollars and 47 cents and i don't know why but it's even making my drink taste colder maybe because it's stainless steel probably <laughs> i love it this is the perfect product right here. I'm getting the cleaning tool, I'm getting the protective tips, and I'm getting four stainless steel straws. That's a steal. So I'm gonna give the Ozark Trail stainless steel straws five Vivian heads. Color Run Remover. Now, I had not seen anything like this ever at the store and i just happened to be walking down the detergent aisle and i saw this little box and i thought hold up it is a non-bleach way to get colors out of colored clothes <laughs> it's hard to explain let me show you on one of my t-shirts do you see how on this beautiful beige white colored shirt you can see the dark spots I washed a black bra, I think it was, with this shirt. And look at it, it's ruined. So I thought, forever. But then I saw this. This is supposedly, maybe, fingers crossed, gonna take this off. I don't wanna throw this, this is a brand new shirt. I think I wore it twice. Oh my God, that's pretty bad. They're only right there at the bottom. Let's see in the back. I guess they're a little bit on the back as well. So your best chance to fix color run accidents on whites. Ah, and you can do this by hand in a bucket like this fish tank <laughs> or in your washing machine. I'm obviously going to do it here because I want you guys to see it. We are going to do three gallons of hot water. We're going to dissolve one of the packs that's in here. I don't know how many packs come in here, but it says to dissolve one pack. Do not add any detergent. So it should just be your hot water with your pack of this stuff. Add your garment. Ensure that it is fully immersed, stir for one to two minutes. Remove the garment, rinse thoroughly with warm water, and then wash with detergent. Repeat if needed. We can do that. I also have these pants. This little stripe there used to be white. Now it's denim because I also washed these with some denim jeans that the colors ran on. Let's see how many packs I get in here. Oh, there's only one pack. <laughs> okay, I, I don't think this was too expensive. I think it's a couple bucks. So cut the lid off of that. Goes in. Ooh, let that dissolve really quick. Ooh, that's hot. You see it there? Here we go. There it is. Ready? It said only a couple of minutes in here. Okay, now let's put our pants in. We gotta keep stirring for two minutes. Then we'll go get a little bit of clean water with a little bit of detergent, wash it there, and then check our clothes. Is it starting to get yellow in here or is it me? I wonder if that awesome from the dollar store works on clothes. I think some of you guys said it did. Why is it yellow? Okay, got it. Throw it into my soapy water. I'm not gonna look at it until we clean it in soapy water. I know somebody's gonna ask, Vivian, where's your little portable washing machine? I actually gave that thing away. Somebody else was gonna make better use of it than I did, but I might have to buy me another one if I'm gonna start trying out different types of stain removing products, right? I might have to order another one from The Wish. I might just get it from Amazon. Amazon has them as well. And I might have to get the one that has the spin cycle. Remember, mine only had the wash cycle on it. Don't tell me it should be washed in the washing machine because the box said I could wash it just like this. <laughs> I'm excited and like, uh... What? Are you serious? My shirt is... That shit worked. It's a miracle. Look, why did not one of you guys tell me about this stuff? Why? 
Was I about to throw away one shirt that I wore literally twice? Remember the back had some too? Let me inspect it just to make sure. No, there are no stains. <gasps> I can't. For a couple of bucks, you're gonna be able to save your damn clothes, you guys. Now, I will say this once again, the shirt does look a little bit more yellowy than I thought I started with, but screw it. It's now a light yellow shirt. I don't know if it's in my head, but the stains are gone and that's all that matters. Oh my God, let's check the pants. They're still dark. It did not help much with my white stripes, but I don't even care. I'm happy about my shirt. So I'm gonna give the Color Run Remover five Vivian heads. Now this thing I picked up because I have seen it in quite a few stores in all kinds of shapes and sizes. I've seen this as a pig, as a unicorn, as a leprechaun, as a Santa Claus. Whoever designed this damn toy has decided that they're just gonna market it like crazy. It kind of looks stupid. Let's go see what the hype is about with this one. This is it cheese balls. But I'm telling you, look around at the store next time you go, you're going to see this stupid thing in the shape of everything you can imagine. So you just place the little tennis ball looking thing inside and then you squeeze it to launch the damn ball. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Somebody can get her. Hold on, this is hours and hours of fun now. <laughs> so we put the ball like that. I get it. <laughs> hours and hours of fun. This can hurt somebody, I think. I think you might hurt somebody. That's so violent. Be careful, don't aim it at your eyeballs. So I'm gonna give the dog popper five Vivian heads. I think it's cute and I think it works very well. These are so cute. They're champagne cups. They're champagne glasses so you can play pong, like beer pong, but with champagne. How cute are these? You could probably do this for like $2. You don't need to buy the stupid kit. Go to the dollar store they sell little ping pong balls and they sell these at the dollar store. DIY this shit. It's gonna save you a lot of money, but this is a cute idea. Do you think this is harder than beer pong? I brought some fresh squeezed orange juice and my poison of choice is here as well. <laughs> I just don't know if you miss, do you drink? Or if you make it, do you drink? Which one is it? I'm gonna do it from this direction. Oh, that's not good. Ready? One, two, three, go. <laughs> okay, let's try it again. Ready? That sucked. <laughs> I'm the champ. Don't question my skills. Look at this. No! 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 <laughs> I'm pretty good for being a beginner. I'm going to give the idea of champ pong five vivian heads but the actual kit that i purchased i'm only going to give two vivian heads a bacon bin made out of silicone one of my favorite kitchen gadget materials out there they make all kinds of stuff not just kitchen gadgets but these are my favorite because they clean well it stores well it feels nice they can create really cool shapes and colors and different designs with this kind of material it is a bacon bin that you can put bacon liquid gold in here Everything tastes better with bacon. If you put this shit down the sink, you're gonna need a plumber in a couple of hours. Oh my God, it's very dusty. <gasps> How freaking cute is this? I thought it was gonna be like soft silicone. It is, but it has a nice firm. Oh my God, this is adorable. <gasps> Genius. Who thought of this? I'm gonna use it for more than just bacon, right? It's a piggy's face. You just put this next to your like sink or maybe microwave, wherever you cook your bacon. You just pour the bacon grease through here. It has a little strainer to make sure that it's clean liquid gold falling in here. And then you can either scoop it out and throw it away or scoop it out and put it on. Don't waste it. 
Don't throw it away. You can grab a spoonful and fry up some more stuff. French fries with bacon grease. Oh my God. Chicken wings. Oh my God, I'm hungry. All washed. I love it. I thought it was gonna be flimsy, but it's not like too flimsy. And this little strainer thing really gives it like a little bit more structure. And then the lid, how freaking cute is that? With the little pig head in the front. Let's give it a try. Let me pour out some of the bacon grease. <gasps> look at that. Oh, look, see how it caught some bacon in there? Look. Little pieces of bacon. So now your bacon grease will be nice and clean. Even though those little pieces that didn't fall through because they were strained out, that's little nuggets of heaven too. Like little nuggets of gold. <laughs> I wouldn't throw that away either. There is nothing in there but pure gold. I didn't know what to expect from this little thing, but I love it. Then you put your lid and then just have it right next to your stove. How cute. And then when it becomes a solid, you can just scoop it out. So the bacon bin for the win. I'm going to give this guy five Vivian heads. A bubble jet machine. How freaking cool is this? Stuff like this is like dirt cheap now. When I was growing up, Nobody had shit like this because it was too expensive. I did see this girl on Instagram who has three beautiful Datsuns, like Jedi. She always has this bubble machine and they eat the bubbles. So I really got this for Jedi. Do you think he'll play with it? Like it blows bubbles and her puppies will go and try to eat the bubbles. But I know that the soap or the liquid, I don't know what it's called, liquid bubbles that comes in here is probably not to be eaten. So I bought this thing. Number three. Also from Walmart, Walmart hook your ass up. This is lick a balloon. <laughs> Whoever thought of this is a genius. You can eat this stuff. It's like Kool-Aid. Don't eat it. You can taste it. One, maybe. You're gonna get a stomach ache. This is for humans. It might not even be for dogs either, but I'm just saying. If you're telling me I can use it on my kid, I can use it on my dog, right? If he gets the shits, <laughs> if he gets the shits after this, I'm gonna be mad. Because I'm, I shouldn't be mad at anybody. I'm the one giving it to him, but I'm just saying, if it's safe for kids, it should be safe for the dogs too, right? Safety tested. There's two packs in here, five and up. Made in the USA, create flavored balloons. See, that should be okay for Jedi, right? So I'm not gonna use the liquid that comes in here. I'm gonna use this one. Works great with juice, what? And non-carbonated beverages. If swallowed, what? Your warning is, if swallowed, wash mouth out with water. So I can't give this to my pup because he's gonna swallow. So the kids are just supposed to taste and spit it out? No kids is gonna do that. It better be safe. I'm gonna open the purple one. Are they different flavors? One is purple and one is yellow. Okay. We're gonna fill it to right there. It has little arrows to tell you where your fill line is. Okay, water. Boom, to the fill line. Put your lid on and then shake it. Now let's open up our little machine. You will need batteries with this guy. Got it. How cute is this little machine, isn't it? You're gonna pour this in like this. Then you turn it on and a million bubbles come out. Okay. Ta-da! Let's see how loud this thing is. It's not too bad. It's loud, but it's not bad. Is it going? Let's pour them in. I don't know how much, but... Oh, that's too much! Ready? One, two, three. Oh no. Do you think my batteries are bad? Cause it's going kind of slow. Let's put in some regular bubbles to see what happens. Okay, let's change the batteries because nothing's happening now. Ready? One, two, three, go. Okay, big difference. Nothing. Oh, they 
work. <laughs> Look. I love the little, oh no, my laptop. So cute. <laughs> Look. Do you see why this is worth it? And now we're gonna take it outside because I don't want the bubbles all over my kitchen. That worked perfectly. Now this little machine here, I totally recommend for the price, for the fun. I would recommend these, but I don't, mm, I'm not too impressed with them and they taste like nothing. I need them to taste like grape or bubble gum or something. So I'm gonna give this little guy five Vivian heads. All right, you guys, so that is it for another Vivian Tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up for me in the comments down below. Let me know if you've seen a cool Walmart product that you think I should try, and it might get featured in an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.